Hi guys, we are back at it again and you know what, this is a big brand, Alano B, the billionaire. And there's something that is going around and I really, really, really feel happy about it as a Kenyan. And this is specifically about the new model that is in Kenya from Tesla. And if you know, for me I love Tesla because of the technological aspect that uh, it has, that Elon has incorporated in that vehicle. Uh, for example, um, a few things to highlight from the vehicle, it's, you can do self-driving and it's uh, electric, so there's uh, green energy, you see, and then we have the, the safety element in that vehicle, it's rated to be the topmost. I don't know if we have other vehicles, but that's from the experts. And there's one that is circulating in Kenya, I've not been able to get into touch or to haul it or to experience the the car but i will work hard so that i get to experience it and okay the car is already in kenya and i don't know the owner but uh, a few things just to highlight from my end um this one this one will be specifically on uh, first technology price and africa and few elements that we have always known that uh, the vehicles that uh, the vehicles that are made for african terrains they are a bit different so i don't know if uh, tesla has put has put this into consideration or not but the good thing is that we have seen the vehicle on the road it's uh, it's good it's in good conditions and uh, it's being used so the first thing that I want to highlight is if you check at Tesla, they have invested on sensors and cameras for self-driving and emergency and safety. So one thing that I want to ask, uh, I, I really want to ask myself is uh, how good are our road signs in Africa that can be able to help uh, this kind of vehicles to have those kind of safety? For example, if you know us i think they drive from right and we drive from left or we drive from left then they drive from right and if that is into consideration will tesla be able to manage that kind of situations here in africa or here in kenya or they will go ahead and build the specific vehicles for africa that's just my question because we have different roads our roads they're bad we have no excuse we have bad roads in africa and you see the 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 the, the wheels have to be raised a little bit so will that be considered when he's shipping vehicles to kenya or to africa or what will be the solution to that then the sensors on the road the sensors on the vehicle because uh with tesla it senses objects within like very small distance like uh, 30 distance it has emergency brakes and you know here in kenya we have very arrogant drivers people will just cross in front of you and let's assume you are on self-driving mode how will the reaction be because for us we break rules we break driving rules and i know here in kenya it's mad people are mad people drive recklessly so will that be into consideration look at the uh, innovation that has been put there because if you look at the mechanism of tesla 90 percent we have a very the the dashboard is very minimal it's only ipad with a few elements so the change the mechanism and the reaction to the vehicle will it be that instant or we shall just buy it and then we use our knowledge our normal knowledge i haven't been able to check out that vehicle but i will pray hard and look for the person so that i can be able to experience and see how it is but for now i just i'm just doing a review on the whole uh, tesla impressions and the second thing is about pricing how expensive is it or how cheap is it because let's say mm, it's it's i know it's not cheap it's quite expensive so for a normal person in Kenya or in Africa, will he be able to afford or it's for high-end people? 
because in the US people can do that with uh, their plans and all the structures that are in place. I know not everybody will people will afford but how affordable will it be? The other thing is about uh, battery life. You see it has a mega battery. So let's say you are traveling from Nairobi to Mombasa and you know the distance between Nairobi to Mombasa and if it's a normal vehicle you just got fuel then boom you're gone. But here in Africa, here in Kenya, we don't have those um, uh, charging stations. We only have very few uh, in, in Kenya, like four in Nairobi. Uh, when you live in Nairobi, we don't have any. So how good can you be able to, uh, to travel with it? Because once you are out of Nairobi, then it means you won't be able to function. And does it have a backup? for fuel do we have and literally you know tesla doesn't have like a backup for fuel so you can't fuel then use electricity it's totally uh, pure elect electrical so will those things be put into consideration when they're doing in africa or tesla is going to is going ahead to come and install those uh, charging stations before even starting importing the cars but you know now people will want to do the importation they don't mind so as a strategy to Elon Musk, will he be planning to come and start now installing those uh, charging systems in Africa, in Kenya, or what's the strategy? Because he might be delaying opportunity for us, people who love uh, Teslas. Uh, so he needs to be working ahead of us in stru uh, structuring the, those kind of plans. Then the last part is about um, the roads and the road signs. So let's assume uh, with our potholes in Africa and you know the, uh, the 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 front part of Tesla it's all a mechanism of iPads how long will they last because these things are so so fragile so will they break and if they break how much does it cost to replace one so those are the, some of the things like we are trying to think about um, Tesla and those other electrical cars that are adapting technology specifically the, with the minimal um, dashboards. So if those things are put into consideration, how soon can they be start now? Uh, how, how soon can we start importing those cars here in Africa or here in Kenya? But people are trying to do because those high end vehicles in Africa, people don't want to buy them because the roads are so bad. You can imagine, like in Kenya, we can we can count the Lamborghini that we have in Kenya. Then they might not be more than twenty, but people may may want to buy them. But because of the roads and all the systems, it's hard. So, but for Tesla, he's targeting the mass mass people. So it means those cars will be affordable to the mass. So the consideration for African market, it has to have like a. a the dynamics have to be different the strategy has to be different and i i know he's a genius so this will be put into consideration so guys if you don't know tesla if i will work hard to experience that model and if you don't know tesla please go check it out you know what if you love technology you can go and check it out you can see how good the vehicle is you can see the 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 the, the feel haven't used it, but the feel is real good. And we can't wait to see the Cybertruck coming out 2021. If I was in US, that would be my monster. Peace, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Salano B, the billionaire, your boy. Keep hustling. Keep looking for money. Money is a bridge to your problems, to your goals. So the notion of money is bad don't do that just hustle alano be the billionaire peace